The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Man, a free moral agent. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. John 7, verse 17. Man was created a free moral agent. Like the inhabitants of all other worlds, he must be subjected to the test of obedience. But he is never brought into such a position that yielding to evil becomes a matter of necessity. No temptation or trial is permitted to come to him which he is unable to resist. God made such an ample provision that man need never have been defeated in the conflict with Satan. Satan is the great originator of sin, yet this does not excuse any man for sinning, for he cannot force men to do evil. He tempts them to it and makes sin look enticing and pleasant, but he has to leave it to their own wills, whether they will do it or not. Man is a free moral agent to accept or refuse. Conversion is a work that most do not appreciate. It is not a small matter to transform an earthly, sin-loving mind and bring it to understand the unspeakable love of Christ, the charms of His grace, and the excellency of God, so that the soul shall be imbued with divine love. Every provision has been made. Everything in God's plan has been arranged, so that man should not be left to his own impulses, to his own finite powers, to carry on the warfare against the powers of darkness in his own finite strength, because he would certainly fail if he were thus left to himself. As a redeemed free moral agent, ransomed by an infinite price, God calls upon you to assert your liberty and employ your God-given powers as a free subject of the kingdom of heaven. You are to refuse to be in subjection to the power of evil. Let a solemn, unalterable purpose take possession of you and resolve in strength and grace of God that henceforth you will live for Him and that no earthly consideration shall persuade you to disown the divine law of Ten Commandments.